Hello again. How are you? I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Uh, so here we go with the multis. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, probably makes sense to see that first, particularly because if you're interested in multis, the first section of the instruments part of orchestral essentials, the full orchestra, that's pretty multi-ish, but in single patches. That has the sort of the whole shebang combined. Uh, so we're into the multi section now. Starting with a curious little number. See, I'm just playing one note there. Choose your... Alien in the airlock. These, you're not seeing the loading screen, but they look very quickly, really, don't they? There we go. Another load of horror. If you want horror, there you go. Pretty good, isn't it? I'm sure you've met the concept of multis before. They're loading individual instruments. It's worth pointing out, actually, that some of these aren't there in this form in the instrument section. They might have customised it in some regard, transposed it, and done various jiggery pokery to the the patches. Bella. So here we've got that. You hear those legato violins uh, in with that. So in this section, you actually just want to be playing single notes. That's rather nice, isn't it? We do have mod wheel dynamics actually on that. Quite soul, but that's there. Nice. Camelot is next. There's a sort of a decent range here, obviously right across the whole library in terms of the material it's covered. Like I said in the other one, you've got so many elements here. And also in the type of thing that it is. Some of them are these things where the patches are in zones so we're onto legato horns with trombones at the bottom here a mod wheel and in this section huh oh, right okay play quietly you get a sustained chord majors here minors up here play loud you get that ending, so... Haha, <laughs> just out of range. That wasn't a nice transition of mine, was it? Yeah! I'm all over the place here. I think I'm aiming too high, aren't I, with this? I'm always playing at the high end of the range and just going off it, so pretend you didn't hear any of that. Mm. 
it's quite clever. The, I probably wouldn't use that patch because it's so kind of tricksy. You've kind of got chords in one hand and a legato in the other, and your majors and your minors are all over the place. If you get your head round it, you could probably, you know, score loads that way, but it's just a bit too head spinny for a simple soul like me to cope with. I prefer the ones that are more layered than in those sort of sections. Dracula strides. We're still not into comedy yet, are we? <clears throat> oh, hold on. Give it some time. On the mod wheel here. That's a good tone right there without doing anything else. You can just get the, tickle that in. See what I'm doing on the mod wheel, bottom left. Just tickling in that element. When I went through these the first time, I think there were about half a dozen that I thought, wow, that's terrific. They're going in my template. You see here in Cubase, these are all the ones I've already got from Symphobia 1. That's Orchestrator, Symphobia 3, Lumina. There's a bit of less at the bottom of there as well, because I love having these things. And there's a number in here that I thought, yeah, I'm going to have to add this in. rubbish keyboard it's I'm liking the soft dynamics there a lot but this keyboard <laughs> doesn't want you to play soft very usable first victory aha now I said I said in the other one there's a number here that use Arps or 16th ostinato patterns. And here's one. find uh if i can find the uh whoops there we go i'll just right in front of my eyes let's change this to 140. lo and behold tempo sync to the door as well and very nice too and here's another arp A different sort of arp so you see, there's no piano mystique with arpeggiator on its own in the in instrument thing. You could always save this if you wanted to add it to it, but they've created this special version. Oh, what am I doing?
That's good, isn't it? Godspeed. So what have we got here? Trumpets, horns and trombones. All solo ones. And a bit of strings. No CC1 action there. Which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, I'd prefer a bit of CC1 on that myself, uh, but it's a nice tone. Essentially, this is the old piano and strings, isn't it? I've known and loved for years, but just rather better. And as it says, it's good, it just talks you through it, doesn't it? Strings Arco comes in when you play a higher velocity. Play quietly. the sort of thing that I like to have in the template. Oops. Chunky. Great. Great. Love it, love it. Lost in a dream, aren't we all? I don't know why I said that. Got that going down going on down there. This keyboard of course always gives you clues as to what's going on. Oh hello, got some of that stuff going on there. Yowzers. What have we got here? Make up the past. Blimey, it's got a lot of elements, isn't it? Those of them. All that lot. What's it sound like? And solo elements here. So you've got that basic harp there. Looks like they've made an harp out of... That can't be our power trombones, is it? Put them together. Show a bit of dark planet and organ into it. Get it in time. <laughs> Easy to go out of time. Quantize, live quantize. Tempo synced. Side of interest. No, I'm not going to do that. Maybe 
some of you are thinking what I was thinking there, but I don't think that's a good idea. So, moving on to Masquerade Ball. Um, um, Mass Effect. this medieval echo for those sort of lines, wouldn't it? Mission abort! Top here, we've got something else. Have we? It says brass cinematic effects starting at C4. C4. Yeah, so we do. So that's really cool, actually. This is the kind of layering I really like. So you can play it, play it staccato like this, and then hold. So if you want, you know, so there's a patch a little like that. Is it, oh, you're not entertained. This is from Symphobia 1 Multi. I love that one, that you've just got that, you know, it just depends how you play. And you've got that on CC1 as well. So. Sorry, that was a distraction. That's Symphobia one over there. Uh, over here we have Orchestral Essentials. But yeah, that's 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 a great multi. Love it. Murder mystery. As all these things, the clue is usually in the name. I'm an Egypt. You're all ahead of me. I haven't switched this track, have I? So I'm going, this didn't sound much different than the last one. Low dynamics I love. No CC one here. Quite good for suspense and magically. Magically tinkly moments. Mm -hmm. 
Murder mystery and magic all in one. So we come to a bunch of new ones here. You can tell the new ones because they have the word new written in front of them. Don't tell me I never give you great tips. So it sounds suspensey here, but I think you'll find up here. We're, in, we're now into the wonder territory, aren't we? again do you know what I like it right here that's very usable roundabout here that's great they're layering trem and normal sustain together. Oh, yeah. Great. Big drums! Anyone fancy some big drums? What have we got? All around here. Right, these are all these drum elements layered together for when you just have to smash the keyboard. Bass. Chase bass. The idea there. Depths of the earth, I'm rattling through these because guy takes a long time, doesn't it? I'm sorry. Right. Okay, what we got? What we got? Legato horns down here, transposed. Do you the cellos and and Honestly, I could probably do without this section of it, but just that below, just a simple doubling is... is very nice, very nice indeed. Elevated.
I can't stop myself. Really good, very usable. Swells the brass and the choir together, I think. The modern. Wizardry. What do they have in mind? I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to do it. That's really good, isn't it? I mean, loving that. Snowflakes. Play shortly. Hopefully you're getting, I mean, you know, when we were starting, it was all horror, horror, horror. And then you realise just it's the breadth of instruments that they have in here. That means you can sort of have a stab at pretty much anything. Uh... <laughs> Once again, no idea where I'm going with my noodling. But yeah, that's all you need really there, isn't it? 
Again, really usable stuff. That's the kind of stuff I'm very liable to put in here. And you just need a sneaky moment. Right, okay, stuff everywhere. Legato horns with trombones. Not down there, where are they? Right, they're up here. Okay. So play your lead here, okay. CC1 on that one. Some very subtle CC one on that. So, I mean, you can see how good it is to just play around and start coming up with ideas with a lot of multis like these, and then you can use them, you can just cheat and use them in your. Uh, in your actual compositions as well. Um, I guess some use them for some, some others, some for both. Uh, but that sort of wraps up this uh, overview of Orchestral Essentials. Uh, say it's version 1.1, 1 .1, uh, this, which has quite a lot of new stuff in it. And it's given you an idea of how broad it is, I think. Like I said, I think if you're already owning certainly Symphobia 1, maybe look at 2 and 3 to get the real depth that's in there. But that said, you've got an awful lot of extra stuff right here so it's a it's a pretty good option as well uh and that's for, if you if you're new to project sam uh, there's no better place to start is there and you will get discounts off the other ones check on the website see what discounts you get depending on exactly what products you own right thanks for bearing with me as ever and see you on another one cheers <laughs>